What's going on guys? Alright, we're going to be looking at something today that I got recently. A pretty unassuming package it comes in. This isn't a package really, it's just a t-shirt. But we open that up, I just wanted you to kind of see how small that is. So there's my hand. And this is how we would transport these. So we open it up. And we've got some... 110 condor bear traps. There's three of them in here. And basically I've just got a t-shirt folded up around these to keep them from making a lot of noise, rattling together, scratching themselves up. If you just threw them all in a bag they're going to be clanging around so even if you want to put them in a bag, wrap them in a t-shirt or towel or piece of fabric first. That'll help protect them and keep them from making noise. So, this is what they look like. Now when you get them, they are kind of shiny metal. And they're, they have grease on them. So it's important that you remove the grease and season them. Whether it's letting them rust up a little bit or dye them or paint them. Some people, um, I guess, wax them and things like that. But I, what I've just chosen to do is just put some outdoor spray paint on them. I got these off Amazon. I got a half dozen of them for like 30 bucks. So these are relatively inexpensive. They are steel traps. Uh, apparently, the actual trap um, mechanism itself, I'm not really sure what these are called, uh, the square shaped pieces are steel so those will rust the spring steel and the chain and the dog which is this piece and the whiskers they're a different type of metal so they don't rust um, either at all or near as easily so I don't know if that's some sort of stainless steel or whatever okay I'm not gonna go into um, you know setting the trap and all that because there's tons of videos out there on it I just kinda wanted to show you um, just kind of show you the, the trap itself and uh, how I painted it and talk about that a little. Uh, you can use these for small game. They say squirrels and rabbits, weasel, mink, stuff like that. Uh, maybe small raccoon. Um, not really advisable. It's just got this one spring arm. Um, like a 220 will have two. So, it's not the most powerful. Uh, definitely powerful enough to break your fingers if you get it caught in there. And basically as far as setting it, you just squeeze that down. This is kind of an X-shaped mechanism. So, you squeeze up, you lock it in place with this dog which has some grooves in there for different adjustments. And it connects to the whiskers. And when the animal goes through the inside of this, the spring will be out of the way. They push the whiskers and it'll activate the trap. Um, I'm using, since I'll probably be using this in a desert environment, uh, kind of a lighter colored spray paint combo, which is satin, uh, satin finish, so it's non-reflective. It's uh, olive green and desert tan type colors. And out there in the desert everything is kind of real light so you don't want black or dark colored stuff. You, you could use brown too. Um, the main thing though is to get rid of that shiny metal finish and you don't want the grease and everything because that's just going to get gummed up in the field. So part of it is to take away from the, the shiny reflective finish. Part of it is to weatherproof it since you have to remove the grease you don't want this to rust so you need to weatherproof it the paint will help to protect it and then obviously when you're using camo paint it's going to help to make it blend into the environment so these are I'm, I'm into primitive trapping too but these are just a much more effective way to get game they are kill traps something gets in there more than likely is going to be killed and caught for you. 
so you don't have to worry about them escaping out of your primitive traps, chewing their way out. There's no way out of this thing. So I've got a half dozen. You can carry these very easily. I mean, you saw the three pack that I have. You can throw that in a bag. It's very easy to deploy, very easy to carry and set up. Uh, you can even just tie this chain in a knot around something and put maybe put like a stick in there as a toggle and there's no way that's going to come loose or they're ever going to get out so you don't even need rope or anything to secure that you can you know hammer a stake through there whatever you want to do so it's just a great effective trap it's very universal and I really wanted to just share you know how I painted it we gotta talk about that a little bit. So that's pretty much it on this one, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching.